Hello and uh, welcome to another video of Trippy McMuffin. This is film review five, because I did Psycho Citizen Kane, Napoleon Dynamite, A Razor Head, and now I will be doing, as it says, on the top of the video, the thing. And I'm going to give my opinion and thoughts of what I think about the film, and of course there will be facts about it and the plot. So first of all, it was directed by John Carpenter in 1982. And uh, he's one of the biggest cult cult directors of all time, from uh, doing Halloween, They Live, The Thing, of course, and uh, other projects. So, and of course, what I've seen of John Carpenter, of like, I mean, They Live was good. I I've seen parts of Halloween, and it's just a good serial, uh, not serial, uh, slasher movie, to be honest. So the thing is an American science fiction horror film written by Bill Lancaster and starring Kurt Russell. Okay. The plot in the Antarctic, a Norwegian helicopter pursues, I said that wrong, an Alaskan Malmute to an American research station. Upon landing the helicopter, a Norwegian actually drops a thermal charge, destroying the helicopter. The surviving Norwegian pursues the dog, firing a rifle until he is killed by Gary. Until that moment, the dog is basically safe. And basically, he's just walking around, being with the other humans to try and get in contact with them. Until that moment, it's kind of like, ah, oh, it's ended. You know, it's like, what the fuck? Why, why are they trying to kill a dog? You think yourself, they're trying to survive in the middle of the Antarctic? Until you find out later. So basically, they just... You know, one of them got shot by the Norwegian, and uh, he's just having to go to the, the chef, being Stevie Wonder, and then, then, because he had to put the dog in the cage, because what happened early on, he leaves the dogs then, and it basically, the other dogs know that the, that dog is just weird, not right, because it can sense by the whiskers. So then, it attacks, and just totally face changed into the alien and that because if, if I tell the truth and frankly I wish I could never tell you this but I have to when I was nine I watched the first 20 odd minutes around the dog I, I don't know when around it was but around when I started dog scene I totally shat my pants and we had to turn the film off because I was a bit upset I was nine, remember, nine. So then four years later, I watched it again, and it was just one of the best films I'd ever seen in my life. It was amazing. Acting was amazing. The, you know, way of set was great. The horror in it. The, you know, the, even the 80s violence was great. I mean, you know, give it up for them. So then after that, uh, basically, Code Russell is just... And the other survivors are just basically just destroying the animals and letting the other dogs come out, burning it. And then after that one scene, they just go um, doing a biops, you know, opening the bodies because they find they find one early on. And um, and one of the doctors goes mad in his own way and just starts destroying the rooms. So then he gets to point out and taken and put into a shed. So yeah, and then after those moments in time, they're just basically trying to survive. They have no idea which one's which. Until that one time where Windows leaves the room and these other guys are left alone, just going through storage. And you see that one part where it's dripping and there's stuff coming out. It's like, oh, for fuck's sake. Can't you just notice? And it's realized that he, Windows comes back in, and there he is, it's all strangled, all tied up by the alien. Well, the thing, really. And it's just that one time when he ran out, he crawls to the window, they find him, and of course the seam with the claws, and they basically just burn him. So, yeah. At those moments in time after that, it just goes to these parts where 
it just gets tense and tense because after that it's just like you can't trust anyone now. So basically, I'm just gonna skip a bit now, cause and then then they they all tied up into this into the sofa, doing the bloods and all. And to be honest, I had this feeling it was gonna be Windows, cause he just looked so angry and was walking back. But there was that one point, he put the fire in the blood, and boom. You know this weird stuff coming out and. Uh, I forgot his name though, but he was always doing the drugs. He just totally, just totally, just popping out of the thing, and that, that was just, yeah, it was, it was horrible. But to be honest, the way the effects of the eighties, that was just great. It was just brilliant. It was just an amazing film to do that at that time. And basically, Windows is dead. The others are safe. So. Basically, then, uh, Keith David's character Child just walks off to try and find other parts, but then he gets confronted by the thing and runs away. So then, Kurt Russell, the chef, and the, sa the so soldier is finding the other doctor, and he is just climbing down this friggin' thing, and there's a ship. So they just have this feeling that it's definitely him. So at the, at the very beginning, he wasn't turned into the thing at all. He was just fine, but then the thing crawled under the snow to get to him and totally controlled him. So then they go into that basement cellar thing, and then... You know, of course, there was a scene, the doctor's thing goes to the soldier, and... Apple stretches his face out, really. He's <laughs> just crawling across the floor. And the chef hears something. That was one scene I didn't particularly like, because... Yeah, you know he dies in it. But in the film, you know how everyone else dies in it, except for that guy? And that was a bit of a disappointment, to be honest. The other disappointment is the actual packages of the DVD cover. This never happens. Never. It should have been the original one. Where there's some body, the massive shine. You can see that, basically. So, and then after Kurt Russell, he runs, dodges the entire thing, where you can see the dog, and you can see the doctor. Again, this is 1982. It was, it was amazing. You know, it was just like... Goose Transformers. Look at that. That was amazing. So yeah, basically then he escapes, burns and blows up the bloody thing. And he finds Child. Well, Child's find him. And they basically just don't care. They just want to get warm by the fire. Drink their sorrows. Because they're basically just going to freeze to death. And basically it was great that they did that. It wouldn't have been annoying if some helicopters came down to wife and just give him a blowjob and they're like, oh, ha, 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 ha. No, it ruined it. The way they did that ending it was good. I mean, I've seen the original version, the 50s version. I haven't seen the modern one. It's not interesting. Neither was the first one. The first one wasn't particularly good, but the second was just, just it was great. It is a cult classic horror film to people and to critics. It didn't particularly do well. I mean, uh, the budget was 15 million and the box office was 19.6 million dollars. So they only made 4 million dollar profit really. And it should have been more to be honest. So I'm glad that my parents let me watch that and I'm glad I'm doing a film review about it to give my opinions and what you think about it. One more thing, uh, the music obviously. You're watching the scenes, they're watching the film, and it just grows tense and tense. It's like a moment when he's looking up, says, Why do you want to go up there? Because last night I didn't turn my light on. And basically, the light was still on, basically. And he turned it off. And the music is just dun dun. Dun. This is just this, this beat. It's like a heartbeat in a time, all the time. Every scene is just boom boom. Like, give me a break. 
Yeah, I'm dying inside from the tense of the actual film. I don't need the music. I don't. I forgot who the music was by. I oh, know. Inyomio Mori Khan. I don't. Know. I definitely didn't say that right. But he did a good job. So I'm really glad to watch that. My, my. Uh, oh shit, sorry. I'm gonna give this film. Are you ready? I hope you're ready. I'm gonna give it a ten out of ten, cause it was great. I really, really enjoyed the film. Kurt Russell was amazing in it. The other actors were brilliant. And it was a short character. It was just like thirteen people, and that was it. Or twelve. Yeah, twelve. Yeah. So it was just ten out of ten. Everything was brilliant. It was just an amazing film. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. So please like and subscribe. All uh, thanks and support is appreciated, so thank you. So like I said, please like and subscribe. I hope you had a nice day. I have I had a great hour day. Uh, God bless and stay safe. For next time, the next film review that I do will be also good. So yeah, there's a thing. Say goodbye because it was great. So thank you. Bye. 10 out of 10.